Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. I am the Aquatic Keeper and today we are at Low. In this video, I'll be pulling up my 45 gallon pond and replacing it with this 120 gallon. Let's check it out. This will be perfect. It'll be 129 plus tax. For this project, we're also going to need sand. Today, I went ahead and bought the damage bags at half price. Now, you could pull up and have the guy load them in, but like I said, I got the bags at half price. Before I leave, I think I'll grab a couple of these 68 cent bricks to place around my filter box and a few of these stones to place around my pond. You may choose any stones that you would like for your pond. They have so many, or you could just pick them up from Estonia. For this pond, I've decided to go with live plants. So I'm at De Montes to pick up a few live plants, of course. Let's check it out. This store is absolutely huge. They have tons and tons of plants. Check it out. Awesome, right? Now let's find the water plants. Here they are. Check it out. Water plants. Oh, look at this one. I'm definitely here for the water plants. Oh, they have more over here. Let's look over here. Oh, they even have water lilies. Man, they have every water plant in the world in here. <laughs> let's take a look at a few. And I think I'll purchase around maybe three or four of them. <laughs> Check out these water lilies. These will make a great hiding spot for my turtles. More water plants over here. Check it out. I think they have like 30 or 40 water plants in this store. They still have some over here on the table. We haven't looked look at. Look, all these are water plants too, my friends. Check them out. Yeah, this table and that table, they're both t both tables are filled with water plants. I also picked up a few things from Old Time Pottery, but I'll show you that at the end. Here we are back at the shop with our big ass pond. This bad boy is about 125 gallons. Well, it's big to me. It's bigger than our last one. Check it out. Let's cover up our 45 gallon one with this. Spray paint the outline around. Then. Dig it out. Let's go. Check it out. Now I have it all outlined and looking great. Look, now let's snatch this bad boy up and pull out our pond. Drag it over here. Check it out. Voila! Check it out. As you can see, I tried to get the ground as even as possible, but when I add the sand, it will fix all that. Now, let's see how it fits. Since I have landscaping in the back, I built the pond up a few inches because of runoff. I like to make sure I don't have dirty, cloudy water all the time. Now, I'm sprinkling the sand across the bottom. It's much easier to work with sand than the existing dirt because it's filled with rock. The sand will make a nice smooth base for me. And now it's time to make sure that our pond is level. Let's place it inside of here and pull out our level and see where our bubble is. Check it out. Look. Ooh, it's perfect, right? Now that I have it all leveled, I'm going to pour sand all around it to backfill it in. The sand is perfect because it finds all the open areas. While I'm backfilling this in, do me a huge favor and hit that like button. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bam! So here it is, my friends. Here's our pond. I have it all backfilled in with sand. Here's our sand pebbles. I'm gonna take these sand pebbles, sprinkle them around. Then I will be adding the stones. Let's go.
In some places, I've chosen to place these Caribbean beach pebbles under the stones. I also picked up these river pebbles. Make sure you rinse your river pebbles very carefully or you will have very cloudy water. Bam! Take a look. Take a look at our finished pond, my friend. I have the rocks all spread in the bottom that I just rinsed off. Now it's time to add the water. After I add the water, then I'll be adding my fabulous pond plants. Let's go. For filtration, I'll be putting this crushed coral into these bio bags. I'll be doing the same thing with these bio balls. Let's add a few sponges and bam, there we have it. Let's put the sponges in the front, the bio media in the back. Bam, there it is. Please make sure you condition your water if you're thinking about putting any aquatic animals inside. Look, finally had a water inside. Now it's time for our plants. Let's go. Here's the plants that I picked up from DeMonte's. Look, the first one is a Japanese iris. The second one is a chameleon plant. Now, I'm not going to depot these plants. I'm going to put these in the water just like this. Check it out. I placed a few rocks inside of the plant to hold it down. And last but not least, I picked up one hyacinth. Check it out, my friends. This is super cool. Throw that bad boy right in there, just like that. Let's add these few rocks I picked up. Today, I'll be dedicating this pond to all the fallen soldiers. So I went out and grabbed a few things to put around the pond. Check it out. On the left side, I planted several clovis surrounded by dusties. A memorial banner in the back. And last but not least, let's add this magnificent statue that I picked up from Old Tom Pottery. Here it is, my friends. Our pond is all complete. Everyone, check out my new turtle pond. This is definitely an upgrade. Check out my little waterfall. I've added a small landing in the middle and also two American flags. Check it out. My friends, this pond is dedicated to all the fallen soldiers. Thank you to all the past, the present, and future members of our military for your service. Thank you for your time, your bravery, and sacrifice for this country. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a great Memorial Day. Thanks for watching.